Hello and welcome. My name is Ahmed Al Yasin and I'm going to be your AB Calculus teacher for this year. First of all, this is the book that we are going to use during this course. This book will provide you a review as you prepare for the AB Calculus exam on either the AB or BC level. As you move through this book, you will see that this book is divided into five main idea units. Prerequisite ideas, limits, derivatives, integrals and the fundamental theorem of calculus, series, which is for the BC exam only. The two AB calculus examination are organized in the same manner. Both consists of section 1 and section 2, each of which has two parts. The two sections of the exam contribute equally to determining your examination grade. Section A will be multiple choice. Each question will have four answer options. For part A, you will have 60 minutes to complete 30 questions. No graphing calculator allowed. For part B, you will have 45 minutes to complete 15 questions. Graphing calculator allowed. You have to bubble your answers on a bubble sheet. Section 2, free response. In this section, you have to solve a more complex problem using an extending change chain of reasoning. For part A, you are allowed 30 minutes to complete two problems. Graphing calculator allowed. For part B, you have 60 minutes to answer four questions. No graphing calculator allowed. For this section, you will write your answers in an answer booklet. If you finish section 2 part B, with time remaining, you are allowed to return to the problems in section 2, part A, but without the use of your graphing calculator. Now I'm going to give a small brief about each unit of this, of this book. We will start with the unit 1, which is the prerequisite ideas. In this unit, we will make a quick revision about some topics such as functions, lines, functions prob probabilities, inverses, translation and reflections, parametric equations. In unit 2, which is the limits, we will introduce the definition of a limit. Then we will introduce the laws of limits, so the students will be able to find the limit for any function using different techniques. Also, the students will be able to find the limit at the infinity and beyond. The term continuous function will also be introduced in this unit. Students will be able to check if a certain function is continuous or not and to find the points of discontinuity. We will finish this unit by comparing functions using limits. In unit 3, which is the derivative, students will be introduced to the derivative in terms of limits. Then we will give the students some techniques and some rules to find the derivative for certain functions, such as the exponential and the logarithmic function. The chain rule and the logarithmic rule are introduced to the students Students will be able to find the derivative for higher order functions. We will give some real life application of the derivative, such as the particle motion, speed, velocity, and acceleration. We will finish this unit by talking about the mean value theorem and Rawls theorem. In unit 4, which is the integral, we will start with antiderivatives. Techniques for finding the antiderivatives will be introduced to the students. Students will use integral by substitution to find the integral 
for certain functions. Raymond sums and the trapezoidal rule will also be introduced to the students. The two parts of the fundamental theorem of calculus will also be introduced to the students. Students will find the integral, the definite integrals for different functions. We will give some real life application for the integral such as the speed and velocity and finding the volume for 3D shapes. Students will be able to solve some separable differential equations. And we will finish this unit by talking about the exponential and the logistic change. Unit 5, which is the series, is for the BC exam only. I want you to thank I want to thank you all for your listening and I hope to see you soon in the class.